What a great experience. Thanks, Very TJ, cool. for sharing. It's uh, 447 now on this Thursday morning. Temperatures in the 50s again this morning. So a couple days in a row, mild start. Yeah, and this is the end of it, oh, Patrick. Right. <laughs> After today, it's a stretch of cooler weather that's going to settle in for Friday and the weekend. Right now, though, very mild beginning for a December morning. Roadways are still a little bit damp and north situate, but there's no new rain falling as we look at our live radar, and it sweeps down along the coastline this morning. We've got a few dry days ahead of us after picking up more than an inch of rain just yesterday, and then we had some on Tuesday evening as well, adding to that. But about over an inch and a half of rain just yesterday. Yesterday in Westerly, Groton, Providence, with more than an inch of rain. Our threat tracker in the green for today, Friday, and on Saturday. Do you want to give you the heads up about the weekend? It's mostly cloudy, brisk, and chilly. Chance for a few sprinkles and possibly even a few flurries over the weekend. And we'll show you more details on that. Got my eye on uh, Sunday night for the chance for some light rain and snow showers. Right now, though, hard to believe. Is he seeing any sort of wintry weather in the days ahead, given how warm it is when you step outside? It is 53 degrees. In New Bedford right now, 51 in Providence and in Westerly. Our cool spot, Smithfield, 49 right now. But winds have shifted. They're out of the northwest, and that's eventually going to be transporting in some cooler air. So even with sunshine, there's not a big temperature change between morning lows and afternoon highs. About 52 degrees for the high temperature today with mostly sunny, breezy, and dry conditions. So that front now sitting offshore, taking all the rain with it. High pressure to the north of us is building in, and that's going to prevent even the rain that you see in the mid-Atlantic from coming our way. It'll force it southward, so that'll keep the dry conditions, but you can see that we're kind of alone in dealing with this mild air in Providence and Philly and the eastern New England area. Much colder conditions to the north and west. It's not going to get nearly this cold like what they're seeing up or in the upper northwest, but uh, upper northern plains, I should say, but we are going to be seeing a cool down after today. Look at these temperatures. Pretty comfortable to be outside. It's my pick of the week. Upper 40s at 7 a.m., 52 degrees at 11 and 12 o'clock this afternoon, then cooling back into the 40s by 3 and 4 o'clock. And the temperatures will continue to cool overnight under mostly clear skies. 37 degrees at 8 o'clock, all the way down to near or just below freezing for those nighttime lows tonight. We've got another day of sunny skies on Friday. Highs will only be in the 40s. Looking ahead to the weekend, a combination of high pressure to the north and a disturbance south and east is going to generate a northeast flow of air off the ocean. That'll bring some extra clouds into eastern New England and the chance for some sprinkles on Saturday and again on Saturday night and Sunday. Then looking back to the west of us, a little clipper type system. There's not a lot of oomph with this, but enough to maybe generate a few light snow and rain showers Sunday night into Monday morning. This is 7 a.m. on Monday morning. As it moves away, skies will clear out on Monday afternoon. So in the seven-day forecast, we've got temperatures around 53 for today, then 45 for the high tomorrow with the sunshine. It'll be a dry day, but still a little bit breezy. Saturday and Sunday, lots of clouds around in that evening and night mixture into early Monday morning. Temperatures Monday afternoon struggling to hit 40 degrees. And look at that difference in the temperatures compared to what we've been seeing the last few days to what's ahead over the next six, seven days. Highs running much more December-like.